And hello, 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 my friends. It's time for a Friday night scrapbooking. Welcome. Friday. Happy Friday night scrapbooking Friday. Who is ready to scrap? First, before we jump in, and I got to say my hellos, you know, I have to say my hellos. I just want to say, you know, you might be asking, why does Lauren always play that little intro? Well, here's the thing, friends. That intro is just to give you that little reminder. And I see you guys have already given me the hearts and the thumbs up. And I just want to say that means so much as a content creator that you take the time to just click that little button for me and also leave the comments just like you are. You're saying hello and Rosalind's here. Rosalind has a question. We're going to get to international shipping. I've got some news about that. Uh, Jerry's here. Kim is here. So just thank you so much for saying hello, answering, uh, putting your questions, and just taking a minute. If you do enjoy being here, if you enjoy this wonderful community, let YouTube know because, uh, and Facebook know also, <laughs> because they don't know that you're here and that you enjoy what I do unless you give them some kind of an indication. So thank you all for doing that. All right. And you're, you, you can do it at the end to say, well, was that a good one or not? That's fine. Too. All right. So thank you all for saying hello. Kim is here. Joni's here. Cheryl. Um, let's see. Fayette Girl. Tell me your name, Fayette Girl from Central Ohio. Kathy G is here. Michelle Robin. I've got Indiana, Minnesota, Northern Kentucky, Ohio, Colorado. Look at all these wonderful places. I know Rosalind is in um, Australia. Let's see, who else have we got? Indiana, did I say that? Alabama, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Ontario, she lives here from Ontario, up north, Texas. Deb is here in Northern California, right here on the West Coast with me. Fry yay, Tiffany, yes, fry yay. Kelly H is here from Massachusetts. Mary B, Lynn, Susan, I wanna just sit here and say hello to every single one of you. <laughs> Um, so good to see you guys. Debbie, Tasha, Donna, thank you all for joining in. <clears throat> Just one second. I actually have a little screen for this. I've got to grab my drink. <clears throat> one moment, please. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that. I'm going to go grab my drink. Mmm. It looks like when I get excited, I have to kind of just get in here and <clears throat> get my get my throat <laughs> ready to do some talking tonight. So welcome, welcome. Tasha's from Santa Barbara. Ooh, just not too far from me. Okay, so good to see all of you. Penny's here from, uh, Penny, you're in New York, right? I know, so, so far away. So good to see all of you. Welcome, welcome to Friday Night Scrapbooking. If you are new here, I just want to say a great, big, huge welcome. Um, and I hope you enjoy this community as much as I do. I love seeing how we can all gather together and uh, say hello to each other, see where we all are from all across the world and the U.S. and uh, have a little fun scrapping tonight. So what are we doing tonight? Well, we are going to do some more simple and easy layouts because guess what friends I kind of decided that um, those are the layouts that really I enjoy so so much because they get 
things get done when I keep it simple and when I keep it easy. And I also had a lot, a lot of you say how much you enjoyed last month's Friday Night Scrapbooking, where I actually did 10 double, 10 pages, five double page spreads in two hours. I have had a lot of views on that video. And so I thought, well, good. I think this is something that people, we just need to be reminded over and over. Those beautiful, wonderful layouts are always there. They're always there. And you can always find them on the Creative Memories blog. Other content creators do these fabulous, fancy pages. But sometimes for me, just keeping it simple is really the best. And I just kind of get to focus on my photos, but I get to use the paper and really my goal, get those albums done, right? That's, I think that's a lot of our goals. So as I mentioned, that is my focus for uh, album in a day this year, part two. We are really digging back into that system of getting our pages done quickly. And I'm going to be putting, now that it's March, I'm going to be putting some info into the classroom there to help you start to get prepared. And I've got a few little tips on how to do that. And so uh, just watch in the next few days for some little tidbits to be coming into the classroom. And then we're going to do our kickoff mid-month with my buddy Carrie. She's going to be here in the craft room with me. And uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, remember, if you have a question, just put that cue in the chat so I can always go back uh, easily and find you, and uh, that can that can help out. Okay, so uh, let's see. What else did I need to mention? I, I put up a post on Wednesday that um, touched my heart so much because there was a big shockwave that hit the scrapbooking community this past week. And I know I felt it personally. Um, I know so many content creators, makers, scrapbookers out there, customers. I know so many people felt the impact that of the announcement that Close to My Heart is closing. And um, I just want to once again <laughs> remind you, if you didn't know about this, if you know someone who has been affiliated with Close to My mm -hmm. Heart, They'll be closing June 30th and um, reach out, give them support, give them a little love. If you watch some of those content creators, go on over to their channel and just give them a big virtual hug. There's so many amazing content creators. I know I mentioned a couple um, on Wednesday and people that I know personally, Cindy J. I know sometimes she's here on Friday night scrapbooking and um just all of you, I wish you the best, best in this transition. My biggest hope is that this is just a, a time for you to pivot and have another opportunity that will hopefully bring yet another wonderful experience for you. So I've already heard that some of those content creators we love are going to just keep on going. They're just going to keep going, just like, oh, we're taking this in stride and we're going to keep going. So I have a little surprise for you related to close to my heart. And uh, what I wanted to do is as a tribute to this fantastic company, one of the layouts I'm doing tonight is going to be a hybrid layout. That's not it. <laughs> Sorry, this one over here. I've, I've got things I want to do tonight. It's going to be a hybrid layout um, with some close to my heart products. I mentioned I do uh, indulge myself in some of their scrapbooking products. Um, and it's a hybrid with Creative Memories and Close to My Heart. So it's the first time I've ever scrapbooked live with their brand of products because, you know, Creative Memories is true and dear to my heart and, and I love CM products, but sometimes it's kind of fun. Close to My Heart has um, dyes and stamps and just some other interesting products that Creative Memories doesn't offer. So stay tuned, and we're going to do that as a tribute to uh, just the wonderful company and the last 40 years that they've supplied wonderful products to the scrapbooking industry. So 
my heart goes out to all the makers out there. And I do hope um, you, you know, if you do know someone, reach out, just give them a little love and support. This is a tough time. I know a lot of us who were with CM, it, it didn't affect me as pers personally when they closed the first time um, because I was kind of in the midst of <laughs> family and all this. And, um, you know, I didn't have much of a business at, at that point. Um, but I know it affected a lot of Creative Memories folks when CM had to close. So I know a lot of you, it's bringing back memories, but also um, the fact that this this company, anyhow, just, just reach out, give them hugs. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to go through. Okay, so tonight, let's talk first a little bit about... Um, news and what's new, my friends, other than um, some of that, I know, hard news to, to take care of. Well, what I want to do is switch on over to my desktop because I have some Easter eggs for you. Not literal Easter eggs, but figurative Easter eggs that I want to share with you. So let's go on over to my desk and take a look. So tonight, um, what I'll be doing is I'm going to do uh, a quick layout with the Passport to Adventure collection. As I mentioned, I'm going to do a hybrid layout with the change of scenery, and I'm pulling in some stash busting uh, winter woods from Creative Memories. And then I'm also going to do a something blue layout and wait until you see the photos I have. Okay, they're just, just wait. Something blue. And we're going to make this completely unexpected. So those are the, the products that I'm going to be using tonight. But I also wanted to share that I received the brand new Birds and Blossoms, Birds and Blossoms collection, which is so cute. Carrie's like, oh my goodness, I think I'm going to have to get the lasers just to make a, <laughs> a page about her little Archie bird who um, uh, thought... Let's see who, I think maybe this one, the nesting, the eggs, thought that he <laughs> was going to, uh, or they thought it was a he, but it turned out to be a she, um, uh, and she laid eggs. So anyhow, um, I, I believe I got that story right. Carrie, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyhow, there's some gorgeous, gorgeous lasers in here to play with, as well as a mat pack of stickers, really cute stickers here and some paper. So the new Spring Blossoms collection, really, really fun. I did not have time to kind of figure out what to do with this collection because it just arrived, but I did wanna share what that looks like up close with you all. And in addition to this, there are two new punches. So this one is called the Fresh Flower Punch. And I had someone say, oh, I think I have a punch that's really close to that. And I, so I went and I went to my wall. And you know what? You're right. There is this one called Dewdrop Flower that is very similar. But I thought, you know, just so you could kind of see the difference, I brought them out. So you could just kind of take a look for yourself and see if you don't have this one. Of course, this might be kind of fun. This goes with a lot of the artwork from... Um, the National Scrapbook Day collection too. So I will be using that in my National Scrapbook Day design. And then also there is a spring leaves border frame punch, frame punch. So this is the one that you can go around and make a frame or you can do borders and you know, a lot of different fun things. So that's the new spring leaves punch. Very fun stay. I think it's very fun stay. Okay, so not only is that, but who got <laughs> who got the catalog? So yeah, so Sherry, the album in a day class, it's available. You can get part two. Um, but I, like I said, I'm going to be the, the workshop actually isn't, we're doing it live and the kickoff is mid-March. Let me get the dates for you. The kickoff is um, the 16th. March 16th is a kickoff. And then March 23rd and 30th are, are the live streams where we will be there actually creating during the class. Okay, so yep, that's all, all set. It's on my website under classes. 
Okay. Yeah. This carries us 40 years as an, ama as an amazing lag legacy. <laughs> yes, it is sad. I know. Um, okay. So back to the catalog. Um, let's go in and see if you got this catalog, put it in the chat. If you got this, Bernice says she's waiting for hers. Guess what, guys? There's some sneak peeks in here. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. You want to see them? I, I thought, well, should I share them or should I not? Well, you're going to get the catalog if you order the class. So they went back to the smaller size, right? Which is fun. I love the smaller size. And uh, it's only a dollar. So, it, and you can add it to your cart too. But uh, definitely, if you want one, uh, just email me and I can pop it in your next shop order or something like that. Um, but there is a little section in here. Let's see. So it's all, kind of all the same usual stuff. But if we keep going, we see, oh, there's new baby. You guys, did you see the new baby? <laughs> so cute. It's like little mother goose. Uh, so it's called Welcome Baby, I think. Well, this is Lilac Welcome Baby. So they didn't do pink. They did lilac instead of pink for girls. Um, blue for the boys. Icy blue. And um, the some of the... I, I, I'm like, here, let me enlarge it for you. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? Oh my goodness, it's terrible. Right? Oh, let me see that bigger. <laughs> it doesn't work on paper. Just in case you didn't know. All right. Um, so welcome, baby blue embellishments. Look at the little rabbit. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know if you can see that. So cute. Um, so there's embellishments, it looks like, stickers, mat pack. And then uh, the welcome baby looks like kind of the bigger pack. And then they did um, like an add-in smaller pack for purple and blue, which these are really cute prints. I mean, those might just end up like the wedding I'm going to use for something totally not wedding. So anyhow, so there's that. That was a, a fun little Easter egg to find. Do you guys know what I mean when Easter eggs like, you know, like go find, go hunt and find something um, in the catalog. So I saw that. And then I also saw, uh, let's see, it was in the tools because, you know, they can't come out with a baby collection and not come out with tools. Oh, well, before we get there, there's a simple page kit number four, which is the Easter. And look at that little Easter bunny gifty there. Um, and so they have simple page kit number four. And then let's get to the tools. And let's see. Nope, it's not there. Nope, not there. I think it's in the border. Oh, yes. Hey, hands up. Who wants that one? <laughs> those are so cute, you guys. Look at the little bears. Let, those are just too cute, the little bears. So that uh, looks like the new border cartridge to come out with um, the baby collection, my guess. So uh, they didn't give a whole lot of others in here. Those are the, the little things that I found that I'm like, oh, we don't have that yet. Oh, we haven't seen that yet. So um, check it out. Let me know. Did anybody else find anything really good? There's all the card kits. So that's the new catalog. Have fun. And I believe the baby is mid-March is the release for that for baby. Yeah, so Mary, with the simple page kits, the little gifts, what I do, I have them for sale in my shop as a bundle because typically you're supposed to get those at, you know, in-person events with your an advisor and I don't do in-person events, but um, just, uh, yeah, let me know if you already got them. Let me know. We can take care of that through email. Email me, Mary. Okay. Um, so, yeah. But they're from from advisors. Unfortunately, you can't you can't just pop them in your cart. Okay. Um, and Victoria's like, I have two new grandchildren, so this is perfect timing for you, right? Okay. So there's the new uh, spring collection right here with the two punches, and then uh, baby is coming. There might be some more good stuff coming. Oh, I can't can't say, but 
I think there is. I think there is. So that little bear and page kit number four. So all that just around the corner. Um, free shipping is still going on, friends. Also, free shipping is until March 8th. March 8th. So take advantage of that if you need stuff. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. And then um, I'm, I'm going to just kind of, I have, I have stuff piled everywhere. <clears throat> okay, uh, one more thing I just want to mention before we jump in to creating tonight is uh, that um, my international shipping, I have had, I've actually run into a few glitches that I am just devastated about. So I went and diligently went to the post office and said, okay, here's the thing. I want to put, you know, if it weighs this much, how much is it going to cost? I'm going to be shipping to these countries. Anyhow, long story short, I was told one thing by one person at the post office. And then when I got everything packaged up and went back to the post office, based on the prices, this is for the smaller items that I quoted you, they basically said, oh, no, no, you know, that's a package and that needs to ship for $30. So some of you, if you have received uh, shipping notifications, that means it has gone out and so far so good. So cross your fingers. There was this whole thing about flexibility of, I mean, this one, he was such a stickler. And he's like, uh, no, like, say this was the envelope. He felt like every single one of them, mm, mm, no, it's hard right here. <laughs> I was like, what? And he goes, what's in there? And I'm like, well, little plastic flop stopper. <laughs> well, it's hard right here. So no, that has to go as a pack. Anyhow, long story short, there's been a lot of mix up with the international shipping. So the smaller rates, the ones where I quoted $4.650, <clears throat> thinking I could just send it with a few international stamps on it, go out. Now I'm having to redo and make sure everything is bendable and pliable for that rate. So that may mean some of you who asked for the sampler kits, I'm not going to be able to put those in there because it's not bendable and pliable. You know, anyhow, you get the point. The so really what I've learned about international shipping for my <laughs> international folks, which I love you guys. Um, I'm I think in the future there kind of need to be two options, so just keep this in mind. The flat rate envelope, my Canadian flat rate envelope. So think of an envelope, no paper, <laughs> no paper. So an envelope, right, is eight and a half by 11 or even a legal I can um, send out. Now I can pack a lot. Some of you guys get flat rate envelopes from me. I can pack a lot in a flat rate envelope and, and those go out for about $30. Yes, that, that is a lot. And um, so my idea would be save up, get a lot of things that you want I, um, I think Pam, if you're here, I'm not sure if Pam's here. Man, I think she ordered every single layering shape. And we I just packed that envelope as heavy as I could. And so I think the weight limit on that is 20 pounds. That's a lot. And then the next step up, if I have to go into a box, so like if you wanted four packs of photo folders, that has to go into a box. Unfortunately, that's $60 shipping. <laughs> Yeah, you heard me right. $60 shipping. So really, those are kind of the two choices that seem to be standard. It goes through my shipping system, no problem. So flat rate envelope or a flat rate box. Um, and, you know, that's where it's it's heavier and all that. But those those have gone through. So just again, my international folks, I am sorry I'm putting you through the ringer. I feel like I've gone through the ringer with the post office. And it was really frustrating. Yes, Mary, typical. Like I thought I had it all figured. So basically I had to tear apart all these packages that I had to, that I had prepared. Pam, yes. <laughs> 
And yeah, Pam, you you wait till you get uh, your your package. I think it's like this fat. <laughs> Her, her international flat rate envelope was like this fat by the time and it has tape all around it, <laughs> all the different ways. So yeah, yeah. So take it from, from experience now that I've kind of gone through the process. Um, I'm keeping those two shipping options open in my shop. So, but just know that's gonna be kind of how it goes. Unfortunately, those lower price options they're just not working out. So I am so sorry about all the mix up and frustration. Um, but I will be emailing you if there's any real, real issues and letting you know about that. So let's start scrapping friends. How about that? <laughs> um, and so Sharon says, yeah, that's a hundred dollars for Australia. Yeah. Oh, my friends, I know. I wish it were, I, you know, gone are the days, I guess, of just getting a cute little envelope and packing it full of cute little things and throwing some stamps on it. There are all these rules, you know, and, and that's what was frustrating. I told the folks at the post office, I go, there was nowhere at all on the website that said, no place can it be hard. Like, no, it just said it cannot be more than three quarters of an inch thick. Well, it didn't say anything about it being hard or not bendable. It did not. So anyhow, enough about that. I'm telling you, friends, not always easy. Okay, so what I'm doing today is I'm going back to my um, 2008 book because this is kind of that, that, that album that I go, oh, I started it and I've got so many pages done. This is where I scrapped in these. Um last month. And uh, if you guys uh, got those super duper boy layering shapes, like aren't they? Those are so cute. So you can see how those go. <laughs> go with the super duper boy. There you go. That's what made me do them. I had to do this page. So anyhow, um, we're going to do these two pages in here. And what I wanted to do was use the something blue. And I just happened to have some perfect pictures to use for this layout. Are you guys ready? <laughs> yep. It's puppies. It's puppies. It's my puppies. Unfortunately, I don't have either of these girls anymore. Um, so uh, again, this was 2008, but th they were my birthday present. And the most fantastic, we, we had to um, let our other dog go just a little while before we got these girls and um, Snowball. She was our family sweetheart. And so these little guys were just bundles of joy. And you can see how small my kids were, but boy, these girls were just doll babies. Look at, they just don't even look real, do they? So cute. So tonight, what I'm going to do is pack it in. I'm going to pack a lot of photos because, you know, <laughs> I like my puppies. They are super cute as well as my kids are cute too, I think. So I'm going to be using a peekaboo pocket and because I, I printed all of these photos. So I have ones for each of the kids holding the puppies and then of course me and then even more like they're just the priceless photos. So I'm going to be using a six by 12 peekaboo pocket. Oh, and that reminds me, I, I've had some questions, I've seen some questions about, oh, Lauren, the heat sealer, because if you saw my um, uh, post about using a heat sealer, you guys, my, my, I'm going to have to do a like hack video on all the things you can do with a heat sealer, because my mind is spinning still, um, but the 16-inch model did sell out. I know there's a an eight and a 12, and I'm wondering if anybody ordered the 12 and if it's long enough for these peekaboo pockets. Nobody's answered that question. So if any of you did, um, let us know in the chat. But as of now, the 16 inch uh, ones are gone. So, <laughs> um, okay. So what we're gonna do is dive into this Something Blue collection because the papers in here are just so pretty. Aren't they pretty? This one has a love print on it. 
This is stripes, and then this is just a nice petite floral. So these are the three patterns that I picked out. A nice contrast, a small print, light, a bold stripe, and then just kind of a nice neutral pattern. And then um, in here, <laughs> I went ahead and there are some great uh, embellishments that, now doesn't that apply to my puppies? Hold on, there you go. Can you see it? It's not focusing. There we go. It was love at first sight, absolutely, right? And then how about this one? It says, remember this day with a camera. Totally, you can use that for puppies and not wedding. <laughs> Better together? Absolutely, puppies, not wedding. <laughs> so there are a lot of embellishments. I kind of went in and picked out ones that were, to me, very neutral from the wedding pack. A lot of just greenery and sprigs and frames and different things. So I have all those. I'm going to see, maybe we'll play with one of these um, em embroidered ones, maybe one of those. And then I'm not sure about the stickers, but I've got those in here in my little kit. So we'll see what happens. But there's the something blue. And so I know some of you are like, oh, I'll I never, I'm not doing wedding again. But maybe you just want the paper pack because it is very neutral. It's, it's really beautiful, beautiful blues. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start out and we're gonna use the same formulas just like I was doing last week. <clears throat> Let me grab my trimmer and we're gonna do blocks of color. So for this one, I was looking at kind of some of these patterns and I thought, um, I really like the smaller pattern my picture is on the smaller pattern and I kind of want these pictures to, to stand out. And then, but I really like this bold stripe. So I think what I'm gonna do is do my big block with the pattern paper and then add a little strip of the stripes in there. Okay, so let me get a little more room so I can cut this. And we are looking at, um, these are four by six, so I'm going to go ahead and do a six and a half. Actually, I might do six and three quarters on that. So this is my six and three quarter side here. And then I'm going to add a little blue stripe. So I've got that nice big background here for these. And then I think I'm going to push these maybe to the top. And then I want to add some of this blue stripe paper. So I think I'm just going to do about an inch on this. Start with an inch. Yep. And my trimmer is going to fall. Here we go. Oh, and I should mention, guys, I was talking, well, I got an email. I emailed Carrie. And I go, Carrie, how about we do a shenanigans team crop while you're here? And Carrie said, yes. So I've got to put the notice up, but all of you, I'm so excited. Can I just say also all of, um, I'm so excited for my two, my new team members, my tran the transfers. So happy to have you on Team Scrap Some Joy. So we're going to do a St. Patrick's Day team crop. <laughs> we're going to get up to sh some shenanigans, okay? So <laughs> why not? Why not? Oh, good question. Why not use red? You're right. I could. I And sometimes I do the matchy matchy thing because I have a red shirt. But my kid, like Ellen, she has a nice blue shirt. Adam has gray. And I wanted to use the blue collection. So I'm going with blue. <laughs> but it's going to work. Watch, it'll work. Because sometimes I think color-wise we get stuck that we have to use the color that we see in our photos. But then it's like, oh, well, I have red, but Audrey's wearing pink. So then what do you do? Do you find paper with red and pink in it? You could do that. But I also enjoy just having fun with new stuff, new product. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have some fun with the uh, colors and patterns in this uh, Something Blue collection. But good question, absolutely. Okay, so, um, I have the stripes here and then the photos here. 
Then what I was trying to figure out on this side is I wanted all four of my kids kind of clustered together on this side. Let me move this over a little bit. And I thought, okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to have, and then I still had some great photos here. And then I had these cute puppy photos that I wanted. So um, what I thought I would do is have it so that the peekaboo, the, the open here is going to be the six inches that will cover the puppies behind it. And then these will be kind of nestled together in the center. So that means what I have is this strip over here on this side for these photos. And then I also still have this kind of center strip here that I want to take care of. See what I'm going to do on this center part here. So the first thing I want to do is get these set in the peekaboo pocket. So I'm going to come back to the stripe paper and basically just cut a six inch strip of the stripe. And luckily, I checked the back side. The back side's just this great green, which will be perfect for the flip side photos. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that six inch strip here of the stripe paper. And the stripe is gonna go on this side so that it's kind of mirrors, mirroring um, this little stripe over here. Okay, so let me get a little more room. I'm gonna get this paper and I want the stripe to be on the outside. So I'm gonna take my pictures. I've got Ellen here and I'm gonna add her to the top here. And then I'm gonna add Adam, okay? right here, this one. I thought he's just holding her little paws. They're so cute, so cute. And I may have to trim just a smidge. How am I, how am I doing? No, I'm good. Okay, so I'm gonna add these here and right here to the bottom of this paper. And line that up. Okay, so now I have kind of what's gonna go right here on the side. And then I'm gonna to need to flip it over and put my other photos here. So what I need to do when I open it is figure out where do I want my photos? Do I want it them here or here? And I'm gonna, again, leave the strip on the outside. So I'm gonna move my photos on the inside. So I'm gonna put Adam here at the bottom on this side, just line him up with the paper. So no fancy modifications to this peekaboo pocket. And then I'm gonna put Audrey up here because that is gonna be right next to her holding marshmallow and then her laughing right next to it. So I'm gonna like, I like that setup. Um, okay. There we go. And just pop this right in here. So this is a really good formula. Luckily, and, and here's a tip for you guys. Luckily, I had vertical orientation photos. So, and, and I mean, thank goodness, like a lot of these, I was, I had the camera turned the right way, the right way. Um, the same vertical. So one thing to remember, if you have your phone or if you have your camera, that was a tip I got from a professional photographer. Take both. Take a horizontal and then just turn your camera and take a vertical because you never know kind of what orientation you may end up wanting to use, not just in your scrapbooks, but maybe for a photo frame in your house or something like that. So, um, Always remember, you know, mix it up. I know sometimes we get into a rut of just, you know, grabbing our phone and taking a shot in a certain way, but it does help. So these are gonna go in. I'm probably gonna come back in here and um, actually maybe I'll leave that out because this, <laughs> I thought, okay, where'd I put that one? 
uh, that one that said love at first sight. Oh yeah. Love at first sight. I mean, that goes perfectly right there. It was love at first sight for these little guys. So we could do a fun little flower cluster here. I might have to grab a little circle. So I have a little layering going on. Let me see if I have the right size. And I am, let's see. Oh, I was thinking this one it might be too small. Oh, I think that one's too small. Now it's on the floor. Okay. <laughs> I think it's time to restock my circles. This one might be too big. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. So maybe something like that. I've got to poke out the centers uh, to that. So um, we've got those. Oh, or I could try. That might also be a fun place to try one of these. Has anybody tried these yet? The embroidered embellishments? <sighs> Yeah. Oh, Debbie says she learned to do that with each photo because she was always having the wrong yes. Right, Debbie? Oh my gosh. So many times. Look how cute that heart is. You guys, I have to, I have to use it. Okay. So, um, I need to go grab something, a, a tool from my die cutting station because I'm not going to sit here and poke all these out. <laughs> One second. One moment, please. Should I put my little... Um, this is this is my favorite little uh, di thing to get. Basically, you just run it through and it pokes out all the holes. But I'm not going to sprinkle those all over my photos. You guys who have die cutting machines probably have one of these, right? Okay. Basically, it's little bristles that just get in there and poke all those holes out for you. Okay. All right. So I have a few that I need to kind of get in there and poke out. They don't want to come out right now. So let me... I have another tool over there that's my poker tool. Okay. One moment, please while I fix my little doily do here. That's the thing, some of them are so intricate they need a little extra TLC. So maybe this isn't <laughs> simple and fast, but it is fun when you can add that perfect little layer. One sec. Okay, I got one more, a couple more that just don't wanna poke out. Here. Okay. Did I get them all? Oh, no. One, you, you need to come out. There we go. Well, they're so pretty when you do take the time to do it though, right? Okay. Oh, here. Now that's ready. Now I can, I think I'm going to have to add the adhesive to the outside, right? So that it'll actually stick. Here we go. Because these are um, embossed. I don't know if you can see that embossing on those. They're really cool. So I'm going to pop that right in there. It was love at first sight. And now I can add this cute little cluster in here. So you can see wedding does not have to be wedding. I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. And I love this little heart. So because this is nowhere really near a photograph, I'm just going to keep it right there in the peekaboo pocket. So there's a fun little addition to this cluster. And it's nice when you have kind of a landing place on the side of your photos. If we do them horizontal, of course, sometimes we don't have that nice edge that we can use as a place to add, you know, those little embellishment clusters, those little touches. So basically it's gonna be like this. And 
um, my peekaboo pocket is going to be stuck down. And then what I want to do is add <clears throat> the other kids right next to them. So right here. And then before I do that, I want to go ahead and uh, get these down so I can have a visual on what this side is going to look like. So I've got, I've got this here. I have been talking to the family about getting another dog. We are interested because Marshy has been gone about a year now and, um, I miss my baby <laughs> and, and it's a hard choice, right? So what are some of your favorite dog breeds? I, you know, I like them small and squishy like this, I have to say, <laughs> but, um, I think it's really fun to hear what kind of dogs that everyone has. And, um, we've been doing some research, but I also told my husband, I don't know why this didn't stick, uh, that. I, we need to get a fence. It's kind of wild up here. I mean, like I, you've heard me say, we've got bears and deer. And I kind of want um, a little fenced off area. So we'd have to kind of work on getting a fence put in so that, it, you know, I just don't have deer walking through where I want, you know, to let the dog out. <laughs> That's the idea. Okay, so we've got that. And I'm going to add some adhesive, whoops, to the back of this. Super easy, just a nice big block of that color. And add this in here, and then just enough so I can add this stripe to the edge right there. Okay, so that's gonna go in. And this nice stripe. Now I had debated about getting the new uh, heart border maker cartridge out and then I thought oh gosh there is and and that one is directional to me it seems because it has the hearts kind of you know it's more of a horizontal format right and um oh Debbie and I just saw oh my goodness I saw she, Debbie just lost her her grand dog and I'm so sorry Debbie I'm so sorry I oh my goodness yeah traumatic well I saw this um sticker. And I thought, oh, that's really cute. Um, I thought maybe I would try this instead of a border. And it has a lot of little, <laughs> lot of little rectangles that do not want to just stick with the backing paper. Okay. I'm going to have to kind of go in here and pull some of those out. All right, I missed a few. <laughs> I guess I'm doing a lot of poking out on this layout, right? Let's get those out of there. Okay, golden, I see golden retrievers are your fave, Jean, but right now you have a long haired dash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so my daughter sent me, that's so funny you say that, Jean. My daughter sent me a link and she's like, mom, this is the dog I think you should get. It was a long haired dog. <laughs> She's like, they're so cute. This is the dog I would get if I got a dog, but she has cats. So um, that's so funny. I think I'm going to have to tell her. Yep. Um, okay. So I'm going to, while I'm chatting, I got to come back, read some more here. Uh, I'm going to just add this right at that intersection of those two papers. And it's just a nice little texture layer, don't you think? Um, so it kind of gives that um, peekaboo to the stripe in the back, but then it also gives a nice connection between the two papers. So I like it. <clears throat> I think that's a good, good choice for there. Now, the other thing I want to get in here before we get too far along is I really liked this uh, little note card. So before I kind of stick some more things down... Um, I want to try to figure out where this note card is going to go. And this is kind of bubbling. Let me get it back down there. And then also, am I going to do a circle? Am I going to keep it square? I kind of feel like I need to do a circle on this. I wonder. Let's see if we can do a quick circle. 
English Labs, of course, you can see Shannon's English Lab Holtby right there, who is a cutie pie. Um, I guess, well, I'm assuming Holtby is an English Labs. He is, oh yes, he's your adventure buddy. Oh, so cute. <clears throat> I'm looking to see if this might work. Green Blade. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to... One second here. No, nope, that's too small. This one, uh, no, it would have to be this one with the green or the blue blade. Uh, where are my templates? This is when you need your templates handy, but I, I hardly ever use my templates. Hold on. Oh, look, here they are. I found them. I usually just eyeball it, but this one is a little too close. Let me grab my circled templates in here. They've got to be in here somewhere, don't they? Ah, there they are. Okay. Measure twice, cut once. Right, friends? <laughs> That's the whole idea. There's a lot of templates. All right, so let's see. I have this one, right? I have this one. So will the green blade work? What do you guys think? If it's right there, ooh, it's kind of close. Now it's not gonna work. The red blade, but the red blade's gonna go all the way over here and catch that. Yeah, so I don't know about a circle. I could do an oval. I could do an oval, but I've already got a circle on the page and that's kind of weird to me. I don't know if I can mix ovals and circles. <laughs> okay, or I could use the circle cutter, but I think I'm just going to go easy and let's just trim this baby down. Okay, so I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to keep it in a little square format, but I'm going to trim it. Let's see, this is how wide this is three inches wide so see if we can trim it down a little can I make it a three by three square that would make me really happy looks like I can friends okay so huh now that's cute a little three by three square that works really well in that little area okay so let's see coming back to the chat Two, Sarah has two large rescue dogs. Big boys, 100 pounders. Woo! Oh my gosh, yes. Kay has a, uh, let's see if I can say it right. Corgi? It's Corgi, right? I think that's the right way to say it. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Schnauzers. Oh, polar Labrador and chocolate Labrador retrievers. I love it. Gosh. Fussy, cut, and pop it up. Oh, I could do that, right, Carrie? I could I could fussy cut it. <sighs> now you're giving me ideas. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, let's see. Um, schnauzers, let's see. American Eskimo. Oh, my goodness, that's so cute. Uh, and Belinda has a bunny. <laughs> Seven-month-old Clarence, I love it. Well, you guys have seen my, our bunny, too. And, and so in the meantime, yes, we still have Ruffles, the cat, and we have Pepper, our rabbit. And so I do give them lots of cuddles because I don't have my, my baby girls anymore. Okay. Um, okay. I'll have to come back, Carrie, and see if we have time for that because we got to get going. This is supposed to be simple. <laughs> All right. I'm going to add these photos down. Oh, wait. I was going to come back to my love paper and just do a quick little look at, do I want to add some love in the center here? And um, what would that look like if I just kind of went in here and did a little bit of love? So basically I'm kind of wallpapering, but I'm just wallpapering with strips, which is still making it very easy. And I do like that. So um, it looks kind of weird. My lighting is just kind of weird. Actually, I'm going to turn this on. I, I put this I don't know if that's better or worse. It's so bright. Hold on. Ooh, that's really bright. Let me turn this down a little bit. Is that better? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I need to measure what I have right here. 
which is, let's see what I have left, because I wasn't really good about where I was measuring before. So that is just over four inches left. Yeah. All right. So this is just going to slide right in here. But you see, I, I kind of do like that. And the reason I'm going to like this is because I'm going to carry this over to this side. So it's going to feel like it's continuous and kind of taking these um, layouts and connecting the two pages together super fast. So here we go, adding my little girls in here. I'm going to put this down a little bit right here. Actually, I think I'm going to trim these. I want them to have a little bit of an edge, so I'm just going to trim a quarter inch off. Here. Oh, upside down. There we go. Yep. And then another little quarter inch off here. Which side? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, what other um, breeds did I miss? Yes, a tough week, Debbie, I know. Big hugs to you. Lots of rescue doggies. Yeah. And Bandit, Stacy, um, Carrie's baby is Bandit. He is a cute little teddy bear. He loves to cuddle. I, I, I think that's one of the main, why is this not straight? One of the main things is that um, they would definitely have to be a cuddler because I love cuddling with my fur babies. The rabbit, you know, we've cuddled him since he was brought home as a baby. And he gets, he, he, um, he puts up with it. He does. I give him like a lot of good squishes and pick him up. And then, um, of course he'll run away and kick dirt at me, but you know, he, he's used to it by now. So that's just the way it is. Right. All right. So on this side, what I'm going to do is, um, just cut another love strip. So it'll go right here. And I'm just going to cut it a little bigger than what I think so that it'll tuck under the photos because I'm not going to stick everything. I've got to get all the photos down and then we'll do that. So um, here we go. Let's see. I think I need about one and three quarter. So I'm just going to put this over there and see how now that kind of just looks like your eye is flowing across and it's not. It doesn't have stop lines in it. And that's what um, was kind of, it was feeling with the black in there. So now it's just going to flow. So it's a type of wallpapering, yes, putting paper over everything. But sometimes we're just going to go for it. And it's still simple because we're just cutting strips. Okay, so now let's get down to business and get our photos where they need to be. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to come back. I may add something, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Let's see. i got to make sure I'm doing it the right way. So it's going to flip this way here. Okay. And pop this, oops, right in here. Yikes. Okay. All right. Slide in there. It's like tight jeans. Okay. So I have that. Isn't that so fun? So I'm going to put this on the page first, and then um, I'm going to put my puppy pictures on top. But let's see, let me think about that. Mm, yeah, okay, so the thing is with these long peekaboo pockets, if you stick them to the outside edge, I know I've mentioned this before, but if you stick them to the outside edge, you can't put a page protector on this way because it's too tall. 
So you have to take it out. And that's okay. I'm just going to have to remember, I have to take my album apart and slide my page protector on this way. So, which is fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this so that I can get my puppies down. But if you've worked with these um, big six by 12s, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. There we go. And I'm just going to slide that. Oops. So it's straight and stuck. So now I can get these girls right down on the page. Here. Oh, it's got to be one of my favorites. Well, now where's my third one? Oh, here it is. Okay. And no, I think this one's my favorite. Nose to nose. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, they were so cute. All right. Here we go. This little girl, Marshmallow, she was a trooper. She got attacked by a coyote at our old house, not even at this house. Our old house, they had trouble, trouble with the coyote populations because there are a lot of empty, empty houses and those coyotes are smart. They know when there's an empty house and they go and make their den in the backyard. They're like, hey, this person's not here, so we're just going to go... And so many friends I knew had missing pets. Luckily, uh, it was in broad daylight, 10 o'clock in the morning. Coyote had her, we had to get her stitches, but she was A-OK. -okay. Yep. Crazy. She's been through, she, went, she had her, she got her paw broken. Oh, so much, this little girl. Okay. All right, so now I've got my girls on the page here. Marshmallow and Ginger. I don't know if I, I said her. We didn't have Ginger very long. She unfortunately got hit by a car way too soon as well. So see, now I can slide these in and just have this the perfect space, spot. Isn't that cute? And then this is a lift here lift here to see the puppies okay <laughs> all right so we're almost done with this page friends and hopefully you had as much fun as i did making it probably not but super cute and my whole point is wedding does not have to be wedding because this paper is so versatile i mean who doesn't want just cute little love patterns and love at first sight right there. So cute. <clears throat> I could do this here. Remember this day right there. You know what? I think I'm going to go simple, simple Susie and do a corner round. Pop out the corner rounder and just do some rounded corners. Carrie, we're going to save all the fancy stuff for when you're here and we're going to play. We'll be up to shenanigans for sure. And I'm just going to leave that and let's see, maybe another, oh, that's cute. Maybe another um, embroidered element. I'm going to pop this right here. I like this one. All right, and there's so many cute, there's so many cute things in this pack. Like I said, the um, embellishments. There's even epoxies, darling little epoxies. Love, look at that, love. Maybe we're gonna add that. Because, yes, super cute. This is the little love. There. Okay. So I have my threes. <laughs> Three different, totally different things, but a um, embroidered over here and over here, and then this cute little epoxy love, and then the camera. And so the last thing I'm going to have to do is just uh, possibly do a little strip journaling or add some more journaling somewhere uh clever in here but 
you guys know that <laughs> there's a new fun thing in the shop, right? And so for this peekaboo, what I want to do is grab my, oh, sorry, my tab punch. And um, let's see, I'm going to add a little bit of the floral pattern paper. So I'm going to just take this and punch the floral pattern paper. And I have a surprise. Uh, today I actually added some more designs for the sentiment stickers. And um, actually this is going to be too dark. This is too dark. I'm thinking that's going to be so cute, but it's too dark. Um, let me do the, the love or hold on. Where's the extra of this card? Ooh, that might be cute. I think I'm going to do this. The other side of the card that I cut. And sometimes I do like using the matte cards for creating tabs. They're just a little stronger than paper. Okay, that's, that would have been really cute, but now I'm thinking it's going to be too dark if I want to put a word on it. But if you don't want to put a word on it, that would be cute. Um, so you do a little tab punch, and there are two new sentiment collections. And uh, the reason there are is because... <laughs> I'm a font girl and I love my fonts. And I started thinking there were a couple fonts I really needed to kind of create around. And um, one of them is this font, which was with the little February gift if you purchased in my shop. And I love this font. It's just so cute. And it wasn't in the other collections. And then there is a travel font. It's kind of a distressed travel font that I wanted to add. So there are two new sentiments collections. And along with that, I'm going to share another surprise, which is going to help with travel photos. So, um, so where's my, here's my little tag. So here we are going to do, let's see, under here. We're going to do either under here, open here. I think I'm going to do open here. So basically you just take the sentiments. I think I've mentioned this before. These are all sized to fit on the tab punch. And just my favorite fonts and little directional things, open, lift, pull, under, you know, those cute little things. So um, I know some of you were saying you were trying it out just like that, open here, and then you peel the backing off. They're just um, translucent stickers, but they disappear once you have it on your tab. So you just pop that on there and I can see I need to just trim a little more off the sticker part there. That's good. So that's it. Just says, oops, my camera's having trouble focusing tonight. There, open here. Okay. Then I add a little bit of adhesive. And now that I used a map card, this is a nice and sturdy is really nice and I'm just going to add this right here to the edge pull that out oops get that straight there we go and now we have a little tab for that's all in the matching collection. I love that the tab punch lets you just pull in the colors and different things from the different collections. So that, that's it. That's as easy as these little guys go. I'm so in love with this. And the other thing that's really fun is it's given me an opportunity to kind of get my design hat on again, which I'm really loving, Carrie. And so I wanted to make sure you guys knew 
This month, if you order in my shop, this is the little gift. And last month it was um, the hearts, right? The, the love sentiment. Let me get it. With a little heart. And this one says it's a love thing, this little cute one. So this is the font right here that I fell in love with after making this. And I thought, oh, I need I need the matching one to go. I'm, I love my matchy matchy. So, um, so this then could just also, so this is, this was February. This is March and every month I'm going to design a new little gift that you can only get during that month. So I just wanted to mention that. Isn't it cute with the little rainbow? <laughs> and um, then we can just add these fun little sentiments. And, and these can go, like this would be fun to do. Um, you know, I could add the little sentiments anywhere. Since it's clear, we could just pop them in anywhere on this page. Okay, so I wanted to share that with the new layout, but basically simple, easy, finished with the Something Blue collection because I have some other goodies that I want to share tonight too. Okay, so there it is. Two pages. Really fun. I love the um, idea of kind of clustering these four vertical photos together on this side, and then there's so much fun inside under the peekaboo pocket to look at too. Okay, so that, uh, thanks all. You got to help me finish two all two more pages for my family 2008 album. Let me clean this something blue up and then we're gonna jump in and do some travel photos and have a little more fun doing a hybrid. I'm excited. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Never done a hybrid layout before, but... Um, I think it's time, you know, we, if you do uh, know a close to my heart person, give them a good send off. I'm going to, I'm going to make some orders and just give my, some makers a, a good send off um, before June and we'll see what happens. I haven't heard any other news about uh, the Stampin' Up, whether they're connecting, how that's going, but I hope it goes well. Okay, got all my something blues got to go back in here to be tucked away. Okay, uh, let's see. Did I miss anything big in the, okay, um, in the chat? Let's see. Oh my goodness, here we go. Um, okay, little, okay, oh, you like the little kiss. So cute. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Um, are the stickers on Creative Memories website? These stickers, these stickers are on my website. These are a Craft Some Joy exclusive, but the stickers from uh, the, the Something Blue collection that I was using, those are available. Oh, Something Blue um, from Creative Memories. Okay. So, friends, we are going to have do something a little different and have a little fun so in 2023 uh, this is now I'm jumping to my 2023 album and I'm telling one of the reasons I can do this I can go from 2008 to 2023 to you know another project I just decided to start is because of the pop system and the pop planner and I I kind of mentioned um some of those uh ideas in our pop member. Uh, it's a pop membership. And this is, that's where I, I've, I've received um, some inquiries and things about my, you know, I've had my pop video series up for three years now, but in those last three years, a lot has happened and a lot has changed. And I've thought a lot about um, how, what helps me get things done, what helps me stay on track, and the latest forms that I came up with, and we're going to talk about this in Album in a Day as well, but the latest forms that um, I came up with are the, um, 
the album map and the photo tracker and the um, album tracker. And those translate into the photo folders. And that whole system is what keeps me organized and my perspective. So if I if I was wondering, you know, when I was looking at 2008, basically, I went to my pop planner. I shared this at the last pop crop. I go, I go to my 2008 tab because that's still in process. And I go, oh, where does, where do puppies go? Puppies go right here. Oh, and I can get to, I can cross those off now. So I did my puppy pages. So now I've got my album map and I can see what I have left for 2008. So that is why I, I, I jump around and why I like to jump around because I get to use different stuff. If I go, oh, I want to, I want to do a, a hiking kind of mountainy layout. Okay, let me go find some pictures for that. And then I just pop that, um, you know, kind of figure out where this would need to go. I know which album it's going to go in and then where it's going to go. So one of the things I, um, I've always appreciated about Close to My Heart is they have some really cool things like punch outs and uh, titles. And they do things a little differently than Creative Memories. Like this is their sticker sheet. And uh, they do big titles and then some little things in strips. And their paper also uh, has a sizzle strip on it at the top, right? So whenever we're getting ready to use uh, Close to My Heart paper, one of the first things you have to do is cut off the top, right? And um, so the paper I thought was so pretty. I So I, I in 2023, I was jumping around, but mentioning that because it helps me stay organized. I just want to kind of, you know, when I say, what is the pop member area, like that's where you get the latest and greatest about organizing and, and all that. So we went in March and April up to Oregon. Um, John and I, we drove to help a friend, Kathy, um, uh, up in Oregon. And we thought, oh, road trip, this is going to be fun. And the scenery was just so amazing. It was snowy and rainy and cloudy and there was just such a different experience than we have here in Southern California, right? And so I was in the car. Most of these are taken from the car because it was a long drive, but I just snapped all these beautiful scenes of what it was like on the drive up. And when I was going back through, I thought, you know what? I really like that because it gives a perspective of, you know, what we spent two days doing. We were on the road going through all these you know, beautiful valleys and different things until we got up to Portland. And then we spent a little time in Portland and the surrounding area. So I thought these would be fun to do with kind of the greens and, and browns um, from this collection. So once I pulled the um, Close to My Heart collection, I thought, okay, well, let's, let's get some Creative Memories paper just to add in a few things. This is from Winter Woods. And look at how beautifully this uh, blends in with this collection. So it gives that little bit of texture um, back into this. And then this paper, uh, did anybody say um, punch, uh, postage stamp punch, <laughs> right? So I have that handy. We're going to see if we're going to use that. But I thought these were just some fun patterns to take advantage of. So um, where I'm going to start is actually, like I mentioned, I'm going to just cut off the top strip of this paper. And then they always say, oh, be sure to use the back side because that's just a fun little strip to use. I'm going to set some of these over on the side. And then um, kind of share where I was going with this layout. So I need to do these on... Uh, background paper so that I can slide in. My 2023 is a slide in top loading sleeve. Okay, whoops, I need to get all my photos out. Kind of jump the gun there. And then let me set this up here and kind of start first when I'm getting ready 
And again, I'm going to use the same concept, just big blocks of color and see where we go with our photos. So definitely, like I said, if, you, if you're into more of the elaborate pages, these are the simple ones. Okay, that's what we're doing here tonight. Not, not here tonight. These are simple, simple pages. I think this came first on our trip. And just the snowy, oh, so beautiful. I just can't get over it. It's so beautiful, this trip. And um, <clears throat> this is where we stayed. So just looking at all of these photos, right? I'm already seeing, okay, I'm, I need <laughs> yet another peekaboo pocket, right? So, um, you know, kind of placing everything here with needing some uh, room for journaling and other things, I can already see that I need a little extra space. So actually I think this one goes over here and something like that. So this paper caught my eye as kind of a, a nice paper to put as a background to these photos. And if you've watched some of the <clears throat> Close to My Heart makers, you know they have done phenomenal things with this paper. And uh, we're gonna go the simple route. So what I'm gonna do is cut enough that it's gonna mat this photo. So I'm gonna cut four and a half off one side here. And then I'm gonna use the whole rest of this sheet on the opposite page. And we're just going to kind of do some easy layers. And it is going to, you know, kind of cover up some of this paper. But if you know me, you know my scrapbooking style is it's all about the photos, right? So um, that gives kind of just a nice center point look for this paper here. Okay, you guys, I, I just have to say, my heart is just breaking for these ladies. I mean, it is just, huh, um, I hope, I just hope everything works out. I just hope everything works out. Okay, um, the other thing I wanted to do, I mentioned I have a peekaboo pocket right here, another six by 12 peekaboo pocket. And this one, and so I'm, I'm not, I hadn't really used in the last layout, I hadn't really used peekaboos in that way. And then this layout, I thought it will be fun to kind of share a, another way um, I am approaching some of these little photos that I have for this layout. And so what I'm gonna do is use um, this burlap. I, I think this is, I love texture. Like this is my favorite burlap ever. And um, I'm going to use this kind of as a background for my peekaboo pocket. So I'm gonna cut this in a six inch strip. And I think I'm gonna have the stripes going horizontally. I like that. Okay, and so let me get started with that. And that's also gonna help me balance out kind of some of these colors on here. All right, so I'm gonna have this as a peekaboo pocket insert. And then uh, I've got some of these photos. And now that I have a peekaboo, I can also put some of these underneath. So let me just kind of see how these are layering in here. I've got this and the burlap also gives a nice texture separation for some of these photos, if you can just see that. Like all of a sudden now that photo just pops with a little of that um, burlap in there. So I may come back in here and do some um, mount, uh, yeah, mounting in there. So add that in there. And then on this side, I'm thinking I really love how this plaid looks with this tree paper. So this is a CM paper. I had to do a get into my winter wood stash. That was really, I think, one of my favorite. I just love the winter woods. So, so pretty um, collection. So let's see. Five. Um, 
I did. What did I cut? I cut this at four and a half. So I need seven and a half, right? Seven and a half. One, two, four. Sometimes my brain is a little tired. Yes, that's right. I want to cut once. Seven and a half. So this will fit right in here together. Love those colors. Aren't those pretty? Here we go. Just like that. Okay. And now I can put these photos back in here. I'm missing. Am I missing one? Oh yeah, this one. And then this one, I think I'm going to be adding a little burlap to here. You can kind of see how that'll look with a little burlap around it nice pop that and then that also may go okay so I have a texture um, touch here I'm gonna have the texture on the flip side I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that but I also may want to add a little of this burlap texture over here somewhere so we'll kind of work on that so I've got these in and then I wanted to do when we got to Oregon I snapped a shot that says Welcome to Oregon. And then um, underneath I can do, I've got this fun little picture of Portland. So I'm just gonna tuck that under there. And then um, I've got this nice area here for doing a little fancy stuff. Not too fancy, just a little fancy. Okay, so that's where we're headed. Let me start sticking things down so they stay in place. Okay, I did check on the Close to My Heart website, and this paper pack is still available if you are finding that you like it as much as I do. And um, people are probably going, Lauren, like, why are you talking about Close to My Heart? You guys, I'm just doing it because I believe in abundance. And, um, you know, these are our scrapbooking sisters and whatever we can do to help them out right now, we're going to do. And that's why. Right? I am not a scrapbooking Nazi where it's like, no, you can't use anything else. You know, that's not me. So, okay, I've got those lined up. So those are stuck down. That's my center, but it's offset. And then now let's put this awesome plaid over here. And then you guys know I'm going to have to do some kind of something over there. Let's see what happens. We have this. Oh, and they also have this. Um, where did that go? That. Uh, this one. Postage stamp paper. Two. Precious. I love this paper. Okay, so let me cut the sizzle strip off of this. And there we go. And then save that little guy. Who knows where we might use that. And then I just really liked um, just this one little strip. So I'm just kind of coming in here and I'm just going to cut this one little postage strip straight. Basically as a border. Like isn't that just too cute? I love that. Just a little border. And I'm sure that might be worthy of saving. So just a fun little touch. And then I've got these photos. I'm going to need to trim. I'm going to trim this one down. Where did I put my trimmer? So that I have some breathing room. But that's okay because it's got like the hood of our car in here. So that's good. Trim that down. That's going to be our nighttime shot. And we have this one in here. Okay. All right. 
So getting these into place and then I have these over here and then I can see this would be another fun place to bring back the another strip of postage. Yes, another postage strip. So I'm going to just cut another strip and we're going to layer these in here together. This now this is going to be under the peekaboo, which is fine because then I've got the um, Portland pictures over here. And then I think, voila, look at this. We're going to just add this plaid right back over on this side. So it's really kind of a formula pattern, right? Seven and a half, one inch strip, four and a half, then seven and a half, one inch strip, another four and a half inch. So basically just two sheets of paper. It's just where you make those cuts. You could do this with any collection, right? Same formula. And then pop this guy back on here. I think I'm going to go on this side. And then make sure though, let's see, I've got, yeah, that's going to be okay. Fine. Perfect. And here, add a little adhesive. And then that takes care of that transition so beautifully between these two papers. Okay, so now I have a spot for my Portland photo and a nice place I can journal because I've got a story to tell from these other pictures I'm going to put on the flip side. Okay, so... Let me come back to those. <clears throat> I may want to put a um, a burlap backing. So we'll see about that. Let's get these down. I want to have a little something. I like this tree line. I thought this was kind of pretty. And... Keeping it simple, I could just do this on part, like just on the um, uh, peekaboo pocket on the inside. But then there is also our tree line punch. And I thought, ooh, I bet these are going to look really good together if I did a layering of the tree line with the this cutout laser cut. So let me kind of get in here and just do a few little punches for the tree line. This has got to be one of my all time favorite punches and I'm so glad they actually um, re-released some of these to advisors and so I have them back in this in the shop but it's been one of my favorites. Okay, so I just need six inches. That looks good. When I also have, ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. I have the wood side to use too. All right, so look at those together. I'm gonna trim that off just a smidge. So I think I like it like that. Okay, so I'm going to take and use my repo adhesive on, and I'm out! Hang on. Oops! Now that's on the floor. Oh, I have a spare ready to go. <laughs> the gremlins are in here tonight, friends. Okay, so popping this on in here. Okay, and then now let's trim this to six inches. I'm going to just trim the edge off here first and then trim this to, just so you guys can see, trim this to six inches out here. Okay, so right here. So we'll have some fun little doodads to... Um, 
going to just get my scissors and snip that through. There. Okay, pop that there. So we can, I can decide here, uh, do I want to keep this kind of bottom piece or I don't feel like it's straight. Or I may do another little layer on there. Okay. So we have this and this photo here. We have a little edge detail. And then, you guys, I'm in love with these trees. And I think if you if you watch some of the close to my heart makers, like they go to town, friends. <laughs> I'm telling you, they go to town on um, stamping and splattering and doing all the things with with your all the things with your uh, sets, and they've got all the things, which is so fun. I'm just trying to find another circle. Oh, my circles are. Fun. Um, I think I want to put this on. Something big. What do I want to put this on? Hang on. Uh, and it's so fun to watch them create. That's what I was going to mention. It's so fun. It's like, wow, those are amazing pages. Super fun and amazing pages. Okay. Sorry, I was off screen. So I think I'm just going to kind of take and put, oh, wait, wait, I know what I'm going to do. Wait, cancel that. I want my, <laughs> want my neutral layering shapes. <gasps> yes, let's do neutral. That's what I'm missing. Let's get into my neutral box. So many fun, fun things in here. I know how I have something in here. Um, oh, look at how cute those are. Stamps, more stamps. Um, I was just thinking circle. I, I love circles. Circle or a tag. That's kind of fun. Could do a tag. Uh, or, oh, there's a big postage stamp too. I've got all all kinds of different doodads in here. Let's see. Huh, it's like shopping for a dress. Which one is going to fit the best? <laughs> okay. Hmm. One more little dive. Let's see what I've got. Mm, just, I need it a little bigger than that. Okay. Oh, this one's nice. Oh, I like that. I'm going to offset it. Offset this here. So the stickers are actually going to come off this a little bit. And give me another area to put something else right here. Yep, I like that. The, the tag was just a little too big. Okay. How are we doing? I have not checked in here. Yeah. You finished a tape runner. Yes, Tasha. Okay. Belinda, you're liking this. Isn't it fun to just, you know, kind of get in there and see what we can come up with? So pretty. So simple too, right? Simple, simple. Okay. So I've got this and then um, there is, let's see, there's this little tree or let's see. Um, let's see. Out in nature. Mountains. What do I want? What do I want in here? Not quite sure what I want in here. Uh, away? Yes, we were away. Well, let me get these down. Where is... Sometimes I just have to switch gears, keep going in one direction, and then I can come back to this. Because now I'm thinking of something else I may do. I may, may use something different than that layering shape. But let's see what happens. Let me get the trees down. I'm going to use a repo adhesive just in case, friends. But I, I love just this little touch 
down here. Okay. And actually, I may do the trees. Maybe I'll do trees in here. Ooh, I really like that. Yeah, that looks good there. I think it was just too much right here. So um, I may do something different, different here. I need something different. Oh, I could do another layer. Oh, that looks kind of cool, but I don't have quite enough. Hmm. Actually, that looks kind of good, even though it has a little edge there. I think I'm going to just, that was a happy accident seeing that. I'm going to just add that to the bottom and give that even a little more dimension. It's really cool in person, guys. Look at that. So it's just a little double, double tree, double tree. Huh. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to come back and, and, and do something right here in this area because one of the things I wanted to also share in, oh, I, I, that's right, I had these over here too. Can't forget, oh yeah, look at how pretty that is. I had pulled out a couple um, embellishments from Winter Woods. Look at how pretty that goes, our winter necessities. Actually, I wanted to, I think I wanted to do this on the other page, but look how pretty this would be right here, awesome. Maybe on top. See, there we go. And um, I have also done some word art for travel. And that is, again, why I needed to do some more sentiments. Because I wanted the word art to match the travel. And I love this kind of distressed font. So these, um, each of the travel word art come with two, so there's two sets, there's two travel sets, and they come with two word art, like bigger ones, you can see I'm going to put one here, and then two more um, font sets, but these are focused on travel words, right? So it says like, um, our happy place, wanderlust, we are here, great escape, in the moment, beautiful travelogue destination, the scenic route. So really kind of all those little things that you could stick on your travel pages. And part of why I, I have this drive to create this kind of stuff is because I want it for my own scrapbooks. So um, that is why I love, I've, I've really enjoyed getting back to creating and doing some fun things uh, with my, um, my design side. So I'm just gonna use this one that says, find joy in the journey. And that's gonna be perfect right there. And that is definitely what these two pages to me were about is finding joy as we were driving and doing, you know, sightseeing from the car. So this works just like the sentiment stickers. And on um, some papers, all you need to do is, is use the uh, flat side of a multi-purpose tool and just kind of burnish that so that it just... Um, fades right into the paper. And I know you're not going to see this on camera, but basically it just, it loses uh, any kind of milkiness and just uh, goes right into the embellishment. So you can kind of see that. So how about that? Perfect, right? Love it. Uh, let me get a little adhesive on this guy. And this is just going to go right here. In fact, I might tuck this a little under some of those trees right there. Okay, so um, let me show you. That's the front side, right, of the peekaboo pocket. Let me show you kind of a fun thing I want to do for the flip side. And basically, we've got this beautiful burlap canvas. And I decided to print all these little tiny things that we did along the way tiny, like in little um, three by three. And then I actually cut them down into, because this is a six by six, a six by 12, 
I cut all of these down into two and three quarter by two and three quarter squares so that uh, they would have a little bit of this background. See how that gives you, because if they were three by three, they would be edge to edge. Okay, so um, these are just fun little things that we found along our, our way. Like there was this one place that we stopped and they had all these different food trucks. And then inside they had this really cool um, area that you could just go to the food truck and then come inside. I've never seen anything like this. Go to the food truck, order whatever you want. So, you know, all these things available and then bring it inside. And they had a bar and they had tables and um, like they even had it set up like you could, um, they had um, entertainment and everything. So it's just so fun. And then um, any of you Oregonians, you probably have heard of Black Rock um, or Washington, you know, kind of on the way. So Black Rock is kind of their um, coffee uh, drive through up there. So I had to stop and get a Black Rock and, you know, these are just like all the places. And then in Portland, I have to say this was the best and I've had, I've had a lot of um, fried catfish because, you know, I grew up going to the South every summer. This was the best fried crap catfish I've ever had. And it was at a little um, place in Portland called Screen Door. So highly recommend if you're ever up in the Oregon area to try it. It's in Portland and um, I would go back in a heartbeat. So these are just the little um, little adventures that we had. And then I'm going to tell the story about this, like in here, in this area. But isn't that fun, kind of on the backside, just doing these little tiny, um, little tiny pictures. So I printed it like this. And then I'm just going to take my trimmer and I'll show you. Just trim these down. Woo! There they go. <laughs> Now I got to put them all back on here. <laughs> okay. So, um, taking this down to two and two and three quarter. Okay. And then I'm going to trim this off. And then this was the Lego store. We did some shopping up in Portland and, and Oregon because they don't have sales tax. So we hit the Lego store. We hit the Apple store. <laughs> Yeah, we did. We had some fun because uh, we have big old techs here in California. Okay, <laughs> so let's try that again. But those were the last two. I wanted to just kind of show how I printed them and got them in here. Okay, so let's get, I had my food trucks and my Jones soda over here. Let's see, kind of get these. And it's just a fun little um, capture of little moments along the way. Whoops, didn't caught my finger there. Okay, we had breakfast. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name. I have to ask my husband. What's the name of that place? It was a chain. So good. Also. <laughs> That's why, you know, we need to write these things down uh, and get our memories down. Anybody else been to Screen Door? <laughs> Beauty, nothing's happening <laughs> to, to creative memories, but I am giving a tribute to Close to My Heart tonight by using some of their products mixed in with creative memories and um, giving big hugs to all the makers out there because that company is closing after 40 years. So not to, not to worry about creative memories. Um, and you said, I got the heat sealer. Yes. Wait for those travel embellishments. Yeah. Belinda, they are, um, they are ready to go. They're in the shop ready for you. Okay. If, if you're talking about these, but yeah, so fun. There we go. Oops. I forgot to put adhesive on that one. <laughs> okay. All right, friends, let's get serious here. But I just really thought that would be so fun. Look at all the photos you can get in there. 
two and three quarter inches, 2.75. And what a fun little reminiscence about all these little places. I was looking at all these fun photos and for me, kind of the, the documentation of all these little places, it really was, you know, the joy in the journey that we did to get up to Oregon. And so, um, I just thought how fun, how, how fun. So I'm going to slide this in for now. I may come back and add a little doodad or something here, but I do want to kind of move on because I have one last little quick um, layout I want to share. My last, my newest project, again, jumping around, but let's see if I can get this in here. I may have to just kind of leave this. There we go. Okay, now this is a top loading. This is going in a top loading sleeve for my album. So I'm not going to attach this, of course. That's going to have to go on the sleeve. And then these photos. Now I'm going to kind of just come back around to this other side. Did I put that? I didn't put that down. Let's get these down. These photos. I feel like now nah, I really want. No, I want this. This was kind of the way we went on our journey. And then, oh, oh, okay. There's Honey Hines. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I got my creative memories delivery, and um, there's a bunch of boxes on the front porch right now. They just kind of just, the delivery guy just kind of came and dumped them all today <laughs> in the front door, by the front door. So, okay. So just real quickly, I'm going to kind of take this. I'm going to trim it a little off here and then kind of show how I'm going to just finish this up. So I want, I wanted just a little more balance. So I'm trimming these two to the same size and then leaving this center one the same four by six. Okay, so here, here. Oh, and then I'm also going to have an area here I can journal also. You know me, I love to tell the story. Okay, right here. All right, so we have this. And then the last thing, as I mentioned, I, I was thinking of, where'd my other photo go? <laughs> adding a little background. Now I've lost, I've lost my photo. Where did it go? <laughs> okay. All right, friends, where'd it go? No, no, that's not it. That's not it. But, oh, I'm just, I really love this whole little fold out of all those cute little photos. Just love that. And then I think this guy is gonna go Actually, this one might be able to go over here. Um, seriously, I don't know what happened to my other photo. <laughs> I don't know where that went. But to finish this up, what I would do, because I, I want to kind of just share the last one really quick before our time's up tonight. I want to do, um, I think, let's see. These I'm probably going to just trim and pop on there, but I, I want to add the burlap. <sighs> really? Where did that photo go? <laughs> I do have gremlins in here tonight, friends. Where did it go? And it's not under, look, here's my left elbow. It's not under there. Okay, Carrie? It's not under there. Where did it go? Huh? <sighs> That's the creative mind, right? Things get spread out all over the place. Maybe it's over here. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay. So just quickly popping this in here and I'm going to just do enough for a little mat right here. And you can kind of see how that color is going to be really nice as a separation. So, do 
here and here. Nice little burlap. See how that makes that pop now? I like it. And now that I have the, the burlap here, I think I really like the trees kind of popping out over here. So that's kind of it for this. Like I said, I'll probably do a little more um, detail. I've got to add my story. Now I have a nice place here I can add my story. A fun little pop-up. And of course, I'm going to have to do <laughs> another tab and again use some of the travel right which have just a little bit different words and sentiments than the sentiment stickers the direction so um like this the scenic route you know just something fun in addition just want to mention when i was working on some travel pages i also realized I needed some arrows, friends, because I needed to start pointing to things. So I also created an arrows collection. Same idea where you can just cut them apart and use those in your layouts. But um, you'll have to stay tuned. And I, I think what I'm going to do is just finish up this layout. And um, I'll post that. I'll post that on Facebook. So... Um, if you haven't followed me on Facebook, you might want to follow Craft Some Joy with Lauren Hines. But let me share. Right here, I did um, one of the tabs with the details it says on there. So now you can open that. And here's another sticker. Not all those who wander are lost. Here's another one. It says Adventure Time. So you can see, I kind of went in here. I was like, oh yeah, I need, um, I, I put this one down. Sorry for the reflection. That one says we are here. And then it had a little arrow. So um, you can see how you can just add little bits to your travel pages. I haven't finished this one yet. But um, FYI, Copper Canyon is awesome with leave nothing behind okay i was coming back and looking at some of these pages this is copper canyon this is from copper canyon and then look at this beautiful copper arrow over here from copper canyon the secret box and um sorry for all ooh, bad reflection but look at how gorgeous that looks with leave nothing behind so pop those two together that's another awesome match just like close to my heart and winter woods. So that's that friends. One last little tidbit I want to share is um, my latest project because I don't have enough projects going on. Um, I wanted to just share the passport to adventure because I had not been able to get my hands on this collection to play with yet. And so um, I I decided that uh, one of the projects I've had on my list from my pop list is my Year in Europe program, my Year in Europe album. And so I just want to share really quickly um, the uh, Fast to Fab pages for this album. And I'll do more in here and, and share that as I kind of go along. But this uh, Fast to Fab you can see they're gorgeous pages. Now I went to, um, I did an exchange program through Pepperdine when I was at school and this was in 1987. So the photos are old, right? Like, and, and this is actually, you guys, this is another good reason for perspective. This is what, how I, this was one of my first scrapbooks when I came home from this, like, this, this is why I want to redo this as a project. But it's so funny to see like how I scrapped, right? Way back then. And looking back, perspective is so good because I like I'm I love that I had all these little details, but it it doesn't really tell the full story. And now as an you know an adult so many years later. I look back on this adventure totally differently. And so 
um, it gives me kind of a good reason to come back and do things. So I guess what I'm saying is sometimes it's good to be behind. Okay. <laughs> right. All right. So what I wanted to do, this was the whole gang from the Year in Europe program. And this was 12 Beaufort Gardens in London, in Knightsbridge, is where uh, the university rented this house. And um, I'm right there in the middle. <laughs> so I thought, what a fun picture to start my album. So this is going to be my Year in Europe program album. And just to get my hands wet with the passport pictures, like how easy is this? Let's just give this, we've already got this blue base. I love this um, postage stamp paper. So I'm just going to take this and make a nice layer for this. This is going to be just super fast. <clears throat> I know it's getting late. Over here, grab this. And then voila, so nice, right? It's already there. And then... How fun we can use this awesome postage stamp uh, punch. And these were the layering, the, the pieces that I thought would be fun to layer. Some of this, and then let's travel the world. I plan on cutting this into a circle and adding that, adding a postage stamp border to the bottom here. Look at how all these elements are just coming together, possibly using some of the little embellishment pack. And then these epoxies are just so cute, like so many different shapes here. So that's kind of the layering that I want to do for this title page. But I just wanted to share, this is my latest project. And oh, I forgot I had pulled this one, Adventure Awaits. Isn't that cute? And then maybe a little star, a little epoxy star, and then let's travel the world. Kind of all these layered in here. And the colors, just to kind of show, it's so fun. Look at, she even has this mustard color suit on. <laughs> That's the 80s for you, friends. So it'll be fun, um, you know, getting back in. I've got to tear a lot of these apart. This was just in a three ring notebook. I mean, ugh, yeah, bad right? Got to get in there and take care of that. But to show how the passport to adventure, you can go back and do some vintage photos here, as well as I know this would work beautifully with brand new photos as well. Um, if for those of you traveling now. <laughs> okay. And oh, Rebecca wants to do the flop stopper. Absolutely. Let me see. Where can I show that? Um, so here's the thing, and, and I actually changed the little sticker on the flop stopper. So the, the way they come when I, when I give them to you is together like this, right? So it has, there you can kind of see it, the tape on both sides, and then it's attached. When you use it like this, this is a tab, so you can take the tape off and basically you could put this as a tab in your album to, you know, put a lift sticker or something like that on, right? But most of the time what we have is this, this pocket that just wants to flop, right? Like this. So to make it a flop stopper, to stop that flop, you're going to cut this in half, okay? So now you have... From one tab, you have two flop stoppers. These are, um, so you can use these independently. Then you take the plastic, red plastic strip off, okay, just like that. So it's super clear. And then you decide um, the, the tape part, the, the circle part is what's going to hold your peekaboo down. But the tape part is what you need to stick to your page, right? 
And actually, I wouldn't put it, let me see, I can't put it on this page because you need to put it on the, put the page protector on. This is going to go on, the page protector is going to go on, and then you stick this to the page protector. You don't want to stick it to the page or that's not going to work. So let me see if I can find another one with a page protector on. <laughs> Hang on, let's see. I know I probably have one here somewhere. Do I have? No peekaboos here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Perfect. So on this one, it says the story. And this will show you, like, it. Ha you can do a tab, and then you can also use a peekaboo. So the page protector is on. Do you see it's shiny? And then I opened it up, slid the page protector on, put the peekaboo back down. Oh, gosh. Now... I lost my, my flop star. Oh, it's over here. Oh, today. Okay, so now let's see. Not get your fingerprints all over it, Lauren. So now this one, I think what I'm going to do is actually put this up here. So do you see that? The, the adhesive is underneath right here, and I'm just going to add it right here to the page, and it really just kind of blends in, right? So it's, it's right here. And then to lift this with the tab, it says the story, you're just gonna kind of, you can just grab it and pull it and then lift and put it back down or just lift and open and then put it back down. So you can move this around to wherever you think it's gonna be least obstructive. Like I wouldn't necessarily wanna put it right here cause it's kind of covering up Audrey, but up here it's just, you know, blending in. You could have, we could have also put it over here if you want, right? And then you could just have it right here on the bottom instead of on the top. Let me see if I have another one. So now that just goes right in there. So now that's not stopping. That's not flopping. Oh, here's another one. Let's try it here. So this one I have here, I have lift, right? So how about I put this right here next to it? So take that red part off and then I'm just going to put this right under the peekaboo pocket. Okay. And again, that plastic is just holding that pocket in place. So then to open it, there's my puppies again. Um, you just lift and open and put that down. Now my puppies have their own huge page. So um, does that make sense? So you can see it just kind of blends in. What do I want to say? Don't try to take these. If you get them stuck, don't try to take them and rip them off. Uh, get some undo. You guys have heard about that. Get some undo and use this to just uh, remove the adhesive. Okay? Because it'll damage, you know, this is... This is strong. The idea is that it's strong and it's not going to, you know, when you flip your pages, it's holding, see, it's holding that pocket down. Okay. You can see, I still have more here. I need to add on once the page protectors are on. Okay. <laughs> I flipped those things all over the place. Found one on the wall. Oh, Belinda, that's a great one. <laughs> I know me too. And under my left elbow. Okay, so welcome, welcome everyone who's just joining at the end. But the replay will be avail available for you. So I hope you enjoyed tonight. We went way long. I had a little bit of fun there. Uh, just getting into some happy scrappy times. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the hybrid creative memories close to my heart layout. I, like I said, I'll finish that up and post it on Facebook, but it is getting kind of late. So uh, thank you for joining in tonight and having some fun with me. Um, yeah. Oh, Cruz has been up since 4 a.m. Oh my goodness. That's a long day. Um, so once again, thank you all. I appreciate you uh, being here tonight. And again, if you have a, a maker friend, reach out, give them some support and love. And uh, this is a rough time of transition. And I think I've mentioned, um, yep, all the good stuff. So my international folks, I may get in touch with some of you. And then um, until I see you again, uh, we'll, oh, I do have one more. <laughs> oh, I do have one more thing I need to mention because um, I, before we go, this was important. I don't know. I, I had a lot of questions about 
um, invites. Let me let me just put this up. So I wanted to just clarify really quickly. I should have done this earlier. I forgot. Um, Friday night scrapbooking, third Friday of the month, uh, invitations. There's four ways you can get an invitation. If you've just ordered within um, the last 30 days from my CM link, you get an invitation. If you if it's just a one time or you know a, like every other thing, you're just going to get the invitation for Friday night scrapbooking. Then the three other categories, you get access to the VIP. 2024 program, the 2024 VI program on the website that has the previous links and um, also the cut files and downloads for the 365 days of weather project. Okay, so the, those three are if you are a Creative Memories customer with 500 over the last year, are a team member on Team Scrap Some Joy, or are a VIP Scrap Some Joy shop member, which is 550 in orders in the last year. And those are those three areas you get that um, all access. So basically um, you have a standing invitation to Friday night scrapbooking. You have the access to the VIP 2024 area with the free cut files and downloads. Also as a Creative Memories VIP, you also get the invite to my customer Facebook group, as well as um, the VIP shopping area on my website. So I hope that clarified. I, I got a lot of questions about that. So I wanted to make sure to just kind of retouch base on that. So when I look for invitations, so I go and I take all of the orders from the last 30 days. And if you've ordered on my website, you get an invitation. If you're a VIP, you get another invitation, <laughs> okay? So um, you have the link to the VIP area. But um, hopefully that clarified. Uh, if you just have the one link invitation, um, that doesn't mean you can't become a VIP. And once you're at that level, you always get put on the VIP list. So I just, yeah, I, I forgot earlier to talk about that, but I do hope um, that makes sense for all of you guys. So that's the deal. <laughs> so that'll be in two weeks when we do Friday night scrapbooking. And I'll try to revisit that again before, before that. So Thanks, everyone, um, and I'm so glad you enjoyed tonight, and um, uh, Close to My Heart will transfer the major, oh, Amanda said, the major scrapbooking products to Stampin' Up, and all makers will be wake, welcome to transfer over, so I guess that's the latest breaking news. All right, well, uh, thanks again, everyone, and until next time, I hope you take time to craft some joy. Bye for now.